I went outside with the neighbors next door and we could see a little bit of smoke coming out of the upstairs window. Uh, so we proceeded to, with the neighbor, go upstairs with a fire extinguisher and look for something that might be causing the smoke. Uh, when we got upstairs, the entire up upstairs was filled with smoke. We could not see any open flame or anything. So we just dropped everything and vacated the premises and calling 911 at the time to request the fire department come out. Minutes later, uh, I watched firefighters ascend the outside staircase. Uh, as soon as he opened or vented the upstairs, that's when the front of the building kind of fell down a little bit. And when we first saw the flames, it started to consume the entire building. The inside and what this, um, what the store meant to the community and to you all. The, the store meant everything to the community. Uh, it has been here since 1873. Uh, it was one of two buildings that had survived the, the 1918 tornado. Uh, we were just basically the center of the town. The, the store was full of memories, full of artifacts, antiques. Uh, anybody over the last uncounted years brought in antlers from when they had killed deer and they were all mounted around the inside of the building. Uh, there were stuffed fish, there was a stuffed taxidermy deer that was in the middle of the store. It was just, it, it's, gonna, it's a tremendous loss, one that can never be replaced. Do you hope to rebuild? At this point, rebuilding, we are undecided. Uh, we have to wait and see what happens with insurance and everything.